Hey guys, welcome back to Between Bells. Biz Tank is similar to ABC's hit show, Shark Tank, but this one has ultra-Orthodox entrepreneurs getting the opportunity to raise capital from other Jewish investors. Now, the online show is the brainchild of former rabbi turned CEO Joel Klein, whose work of connecting the Jewish community continues. So he joins us live here in studio to tell us more about that. Joel, such a pleasure to have you on the show. So you were just telling us this is the ninth season of Biz Tank. Yeah, the way how we work is that we have it on a monthly basis. So it's the ninth month, actually. So each month we call a season. So we have entrepreneurs coming with their startups, and they pitch their ideas in front of investors, and hopefully they will get a deal. Well, hopefully they will get a deal. Now, a lot of entrepreneurs, they have a hard time raising money. It doesn't matter what their background is. Are there specific um, challenges for Orthodox Jews that makes it hard for them to raise money? Well, we have our cultural boundaries, and there's a lot of fear to go out of the comfort zone, language barriers. My first language is Yiddish, so it's hard. I used to have fear, uh, but I realized at, that we have one common language, which is the business language that we speak with business owners and everyone is alike when it comes to business. So, so what sort of pitch really works for you? What's the best kind of pitch to get your attention and to have you then open up your pocketbook? I like usually to see uh, either a protected idea that has a patent or it's unique and there is a barrier to entry, or it makes already some money. There is proof of concept. If we get a pitch that's too early, we'll coach the presenter, we'll guide them, and try to show them the path, how to bring it to a level so they are able to pitch it in front of investors. All right, so far, though, you guys have been able to make more than four million dollars in deals or at least help to arrange that what have some of the what are some of the most successful companies so we have a, an avocado brand called evoke and you can check it online evokelife.com we help them bring the idea to reality they have a beautiful idea it's a smoothie bowl avocado smoothie bowl and it comes with a, an avocado-shaped container. It's actually patented. And we were helping them bringing it in front of investors. We are closing now a million and a half for this company. And we help them with manufacturing. So right now, they have a manufacturer in place that will produce the products and will be able to commercialize it very soon. And what's the, the one common mistake you see a lot of people get, uh, do when they give a pitch to you? They are not able to listen. A lot of people have the inventor syndrome. They are stuck with their concept and their mind, and they are not ready to listen. And one thing every entrepreneur needs to know is be flexible. Be open to listen to people who have done that, been there. Be flexible with your vision. You need to have your vision. You need to believe in your vision. You need to be committed, but be flexible and open for advice and strategic help. Well, really cool. That's Joe Klein. He's the CEO over at BizTech. Thanks so much for joining us. Really good pleasure.